Can you increase your Social Security benefits by using a reverse mortgage strategy? That is the subject of this video. Hey, welcome to the Financial Fast Lane. My name is Lane Martinson. And when today we're talking about the strategy of using a reverse mortgage to actually help you increase your Social Security benefit. Now, when it comes to a reverse mortgage or any different type of financial tool, a lot of times there's a lot of bias or preconceived ideas. And so it's probably, as a, as a financial advisor, it's probably one of the biggest challenges I face is in dealing with um, people who have preconceived ideas or feelings. You hear the word reverse mortgage and you may have bad thoughts come to your mind or you've, you've heard of stories in the past. You've been warned to avoid them or to, to never do one. Well, that may have been good advice in the past, but you need to keep your mind open to a very changing world. And um, when it comes to a reverse mortgages, the laws have changed, the strategies have changed, and there's much more flexibility that's available and uh, you might not even think you need a, or want a risk mortgage, and many of you may not. You may not need it. But there's a lot of people who can benefit in ways that you maybe hadn't considered. So let's learn a little bit more about reverse mortgages. Um, I have a good friend by the name of Don Graves. He, he wrote this book. Um, it's all about reverse mortgages. Um, in my book, uh, The Holistic Retirement Planning Revolution, uh, chapter 9 specifically is where um, I talk about reverse mortgages and I give um, you know more of an outline um, as a reverse mortgage being a piece of more of a or a possible part of a holistic plan. I'm going to share with you some video clips from some academics and some experts in the field um, who can shed a little bit of light on um, a little bit more about reverse mortgages today, the new Heckam reverse mortgages. And it's not, again, it's not going to be for everybody, but for some people, for many people, it can make a very big difference. Increasing your Social Security benefits is just one possible strategy. There are many other strategies, such as uh, protecting against sequence risk. Um, there's other strategies that allow you to con do Roth conversions, um, keeping your tax brackets low, because you're using tax-free income from reverse mortgage. There, there really is a surprising um, number of strategies that can make a very big difference in a retirement plan. So um, my good friend Don Graves gave me permission to share some of these videos. And so let's listen to what, what they have to say. When I started reading about reverse mortgages, I think it really was an opportunity to see that the, the normal conceptions people have about them may not always be right. Like, I guess I didn't even really fully understand the idea that you don't necessarily lose your house with the reverse mortgage. I have to say the thing that really surprised me about reverse mortgages is that when you take out a home equity conversion mortgage or reverse mortgage and you don't use it, that the line of credit actually grows. I didn't know very much about reverse mortgages. So a lot of things surprised me. And I think that's true of so many consumers. I didn't know, for example, you could keep the title to your house. Fees are just much lower than people expect. So I think that we've sort of legislated a responsible lending program. And right now, uh, reverse mortgages are a really attractive product. The most surprising element of all of that is the fact that when the uh, credit line is not drawn upon, or to the extent that it's not drawn upon, it actually grows. I'm sure the common answer is going to be the line of credit growth. <laughs> and I think, but not just the growth of it, but the growth independent of the home value. What the line of credit does is provide a, a set of cash that you could hold in reserve until those older years. It's guaranteed to be there, government backing. It's got all these cool things. It's going to continue to grow. It's guaranteed to grow. So it's a, a tremendous risk reduction tool for the out years. And it's that growth along with the tax-free properties and the guarantees to be there that makes that such a, a powerful long-term tool. A reverse mortgage strategy 
could be the means to help you delay claiming Social Security. So you, you wait all the way till 70 to start Social Security, but for many people that's a problem because they need the income sooner than that. And so with a reverse mortgage, you get this tax-free stream of income that could cover five or six or seven years, um, allowing you to delay your Social Security so that when your Social Security does start, it's, it's nearly double what it would have been. And then for life, you're going to have this much larger Social Security benefit. Well, the big news on Social Security is if you can delay it, then you get bigger benefit. And if you live a long time, that bigger, bigger benefit just keeps on coming as long as you live. So it's really important for people to get kind of automatic money in particular in the out years, in the years when they're, they're really elderly. And the problem with that is if you're delaying it, how do you live on it? How do you live between now and when the Social Security might start at, at 70? One way to do that is to have some other kind of asset and reverse mortgages are a good candidate. I did a case study for a single person who was in a high tax situation uh, relatively high pension income, but uh, all by itself with her starting her Social Security early at 62 and her healthy pension, her uh, lifetime chances of success were like 5%, 95% of the time she ran out of money. But if we could figure out a way to delay Social Security until age 70, then uh, we could make that picture a lot better. To do that, we used a reverse mortgage for the first six and a half years, out from 62 to 68 and a half or so. She's in a high tax bracket. Reverse mortgage dollars are tax-free dollars. So she was funding the rest of her income gap from an IRA. She's in a 33% tax bracket. It takes a dollar 50 from an IRA to equal a dollar of the reverse mortgage for spending purposes. So we're able to delay, by using the reverse mortgage, we're able to delay the start of taking IRA withdrawals for, for over six years, which almost got her to age 70. That did some other things that were really good. One was the investment portfolio and the IRA could keep growing for those six years. That uh, shortened the amount of time that you're gonna do withdrawals on the IRA. It uh, reduced the chance, it eliminated the chances of really bad markets in the very first years of retirement, so-called sequence risk. So altogether, that changed the success rate from 5% to 90% by combining those various financial planning kind of principles. So this is just a little bit about reverse mortgages and using a reverse mortgage to increase your Social Security benefit is just one of many strategies that could be considered. It's important to think outside the box, keep your mind open, because our world is, is rapidly changing and it has changed. Not only are the economics different, but financial strategies um, and laws have changed. And things that, you know, <laughs> I started, first started in financial services back in 1988. And I can tell you um, financial advice that was really sound and good advice back then is terrible advice today because so much has changed. And so keep your mind open to learning. I hope you found this beneficial. There's some additional information in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Financial Fast Lane. Hey, Lane, Don Graves, good morning to you. I wanted to thank you. And I just wanted to let you know your book um, is here with me. And, and um, I just appreciate what you do, Lane. Thank you for allowing our team to continue to serve you. You be well. Talk with you real soon.